When are we going to see a point when both the public, um, backbench MPs and the government and the public health will be actually say enough is enough now. This is now down to a reasonable level of risk, whatever people yeah. agree easily. I and mean, again, my my level of risk, I believe, is acceptable, may be different from other people's. But but who gets to decide that if the, if a majority of the public is still saying, as it would appear they were, they are, that no level of risk is acceptable at all. When do we come out of this? When do our children go back to normal school? When do we stop wearing masks in the supermarket? When do we get our civil liberties back? When can we meet up with family members without being criminals? Yeah, well, the, the argument, the assertion that no level of death is acceptable is utter nonsense. I mean, people, thousands, tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of people die from flu every year. Uh, and uh, both Brit British and worldwide. Uh, and there are other diseases uh, which are the same. Also, in achieving zero deaths from COVID, you kill other people. We've yeah. seen it with the excess death numbers. You know, as you as you mentioned, the heart attacks and cancers and so on, which can't be treated because of the because of the measures. So after this early summer, I'm thinking May June, uh, there will be a fierce resistance to uh, any more. Uh, any more restrictions uh, and you know, people have got to be rational about this and it's not a question of what the acceptable level of death to an individual is i'm afraid because the actions to suppress covid have other fatal consequences so it's a, it's wherever the option but again is. you're you're and mentioning may and we'll june that. that's four months away I know, I know, but the, the, the simple truth is that uh, we want. The, 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 if I look, if I were running a cafe, or a taxi firm, or a builders, or whatever, and the, the government said, "I'm going to relax the, I'm going to relax the the lockdown," would I reopen, having closed for the last few months? Not until they told me this is it it's done i don't want to reopen and shut again and reopen and shut again we've got to put an end to this stop go uh, and the only way to do that is when we get to the right point of having vaccinated all the critical people uh, that is the ones who have a fatal risk uh, and get and and be in reach of uh the vaccine the uh hitting the vaccination it, target of about 80 percent and the, and you've got but, the summer but, to protect you in it. but again but again it, the goalposts have moved it was 70 plus now it's 50 plus now it's it, it's moving every time every time we come close to a target that we've been told we move it again yeah well pain uh, look i would i would literally not not pay any attention to the arguments on where the where the scientists think the herd immunity is they go up and down like a yo-yo on that uh, and they don't know the they don't understand the mathematics enough i'm afraid uh, but what we what we will have will be three different things happening one as i said is the the fatal risk people dealt with and once it ceases to be a fatal risk and it's not a fatal risk for most people then then it becomes a different sort of disease you've got the summer this is an, as you said yourself incredibly seasonal disease once the summer starts the disease will drop like a stone. That's what happened last year. Yeah. It wasn't lockdown. It was summer that did it, right? And after that, we've also got other things, remember. We've got a whole series of drugs now looking like they, they have an effect. We've, we, 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 the, the, the government is again looking at vitamin D as well. We've got colchicine. We've got ivermectin. We've got uh, dexamethasone, all of which seem to reduce the lethality of the disease. All these things together make it a normal disease a normal seasonal disease and then there's no argument for lockdown whatsoever uh, but we only get to that point i'm afraid uh, early summer or spring and, okay. and i'll well, stand a couple of months if we get it behind us for 